Yes, folks, we can no longer call the Wuhan virus COVID-19 anymore because Wuhan virus is its real name. We, sh we should all know by now that uh, the WHO is just a propaganda arm of the Chinese Communist Party and that COVID-19 is just a made-up word to deflect blame away from China. And Donald Trump was right all along when he called it the China virus because, as he so aptly said, it comes from China. Anyway, today I'll start this off with uh, our lying Chinese ambassador, Wu Ji. Yes, one of our dear leaders, comrades, who just last year said, quote, New Zealand has become China's closest partner in the Western world. Now, I've posted a link to that in the description below. Anyway, have a look. Good morning. Ambassador uh, Wuxi joins um, us now. Um, good morning to you. Welcome to the program. Uh, good morning, Duncan, Amanda, and Mark. It's great to uh, see you every morning on the screen. Oh, me, robot. Me, Chinese communist robot. I do admire those people who are working very hard during the lockdown, and I also respect those people who work from home and stay in their bubbles to save lives. Here, I want to offer my condolences to the COVID-19 deaths in New Zealand and my sympathy to those people who are affected by the COVID-19. How much responsibility does um, the Chinese administration take for um, what America has said is that you were sitting on your hands, that you didn't do enough, that there wasn't enough transparency, and if there had been more honesty in China's approach then, um, we wouldn't be in this situation today. What is your response to that? Well, uh, look, my, uh, Duncan, uh, COVID-19 is a new virus. No, you've had coronaviruses in China before. It is known to the world before its outbreak. And it is fair to say that China is caught off guard. So we need time to know what it is, whether it transmits among uh, humans, how it transmits, and how to diagnose and how to treat the patients. I would suppose that every government will do the same uh, for a new virus. The timeline of China's response to the uh, novel coronavirus is very clear. On December the 27th, 2019, three uh, suspected cases were reported by a local doctor. Who no. No, the first case was reported one month earlier. His name is Zhang Jixian, and two days later, the local authority, the local health authorities in Wuhan and the Hubei province ordered an investigation of a possible epidemic, followed with an urgent notice for the treatment of pneumonia by unknown causes. And a day later after that, the China National Health Commission sent a expert team to Wuhan to have an on-site uh, investigation. And from the 3rd of January 2020, China started to send updates to WHO and other countries, including the United States. Mm. But there was also that period, too, in, 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 in January, Ambassador, for about six or seven days, um, the 14th to the 20th, when... Um, events carried on for the for, for the new year, um, celebrations, families, millions of families were travelling around Wuhan, people were coming and going, there were state banquets, um, big um, banquets, big feasts, all sorts of things happening, um, when really um, you should have um, shut uh, Wuhan down, uh, people should have stayed in there in, in, inside, um, and 3,000 people were infected in this time, and the disease, the virus, got out, and the documents show that the country could have done more. I don't know where uh, where this uh, six days come from. Aha, uh -huh. so the 14th of January to the 20th of January magically disappears. Whether it is an accurate, accurate uh, account, um, the, fa the fact is uh, it's a new virus and people need time to understand what it is and people need certain procedures 
to decide whether there will be epidemic and then actions will be taken. So do you accept, we, do you accept, do you accept we, though, that your country was slow in reacting? I don't think so. Uh, we uh, make very swift actions. Uh, as, as long as we uh, identified the uh, virus, as long as we uh, reported that to the WHO, we take very swift actions. We lock down Wuhan on the 23rd of uh, January. No, you didn't. You only locked down Wuhan from China, not from the rest of the world. You allowed people to carry this virus all over the world. And strong, very strong prevention and control measures were taken yeah, but the nationwide. Pro the, problem, the problem was what happened in the week before you locked it down. In the week before you locked it down, uh, there was a huge amount of activity, and that's where the damage was done. Um, my question is, in the two months after lockdown of Wuhan, what, what the rest of the world is doing, especially what the United States... That is completely irrelevant. The virus started in Wuhan, not the rest of the world. And you allowed people from Wuhan to spread this virus around the world. That is the States is doing. In the two months after they closed their borders to China, what, what they are doing. No, but what, what I, I'm, what, what, what heard, I'm, heard, what I'm asking, heard, though, is that heard. week beforehand, uh, it's all very well to look at America, and we've, we've criticised America, and America's been criticised as, as Donald Trump is, but that crucial week before the lockdown, when your administration could have done something and didn't, why not? Uh, after, after, we, uh, after we received the report by the local doctors, we have been doing all we can. We send, we send experts to Wuhan to investigate what it is, Chinese communist expo uh, experts. And we have found the pathogen on the 8th of uh, January, and we reported that immediately to the WHO, and we also upload the uh, whole uh, genetic sequence on the website, and we shared the information with WHO and... Uh, Chinese communist WHO the uh, other countries, including the United States. And then you carried on the celebrations and millions and millions of families were, were moving around. Wuhan carried on as normal. There was nothing to stop this, nothing to stop the people, and the infections went from zero to 3,000 like that. Well, well Duncan, it's, it's fair to say any government need time to identify what it is, to identify the risks, then we can make a decision. Do you um, accept on behalf of the administration that, that, that China made any mistakes at all? Danke, it's not, it's not fair to say that uh, any decisions will be taken lightly, any decisions will not be based on the scientific findings. Only when, only when we make sure that this, will, this is an epidemic, then we can take swift actions. Mm. So any allegations on China's delayed actions are, is not fair. Do you accept they were delayed actions because you've just said that, or do you uh, say that you made no mistakes at all? Do you admit any mistakes? As, as, every, as every government, uh, we will respond in accordance with the situation evolves. I'll ask the, I'm, I'm going to ask the question again, though. Do you accept that the Chinese oh, oh, government oh, oh, made oh, any mistakes? Oh, of course, and it's, uh, Duncan, it's natural that uh, people will have panic at the initial stages and the, the hospitals will be overcrowded or out of capacity. It, 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 it is natural. But why did you? What, I'm, try, what I'm trying to work out is uh, something was happening, and you, knew, and you knew it because you reported to the um, WHO. You knew something was going on, uh, something serious. Why did you allow, not you, but why did your administration allow um, normal behaviours and normal um, social gatherings, big gatherings, and travel to occur at a time when you knew you were playing with something very dangerous? So, Duncan, my, que my question is, when, uh, when Wuhan is locked down and when people, people know that there, there is an epidemic in, in China, so why, why would the rest of the world don't cease their mass gatherings? Could you, could you explain that? No, I'm asking the questions. Why exactly. Why, why, China, why China should be singled out? Because it started in China, didn't it? it did it start somewhere else or did it start in China? Did this begin in Wuhan? 
Did this start in China? That's why I'm asking you. Yes, it, the, the outbreak happened in, uh, in, in Wuhan, but it could happen anywhere in the world. Yes, because but it didn't. The virus, I mean, I'm, see, what you're doing virus. is hypothetically saying it could have started somewhere else. I'm saying to you, it started in Wuhan, and so why wasn't there a swift direction? I think we've, we've probably been over this. Um, right now in the wet markets in, in, in Wuhan, what is happening there right now? Uh, Duncan, it's, it's, not, it's not a problem of the wet market. It's a problem of, uh, of regulations and the law enforcement. Uh, we have, uh, after the outbreak, the National People's Congress has uh, passed a new piece of legislation banning all the trading of uh, the wild lives. And we are going to uh, strengthen our law enforcement. It's not, it's not, the problem is not the wet market. The problem is the proper management. Does, does, so, so is there a guarantee that this won't happen again? Uh, I beg your pardon, what, what, what? Can you, what? Can, can, your, your, can your government, can your administration guarantee that the changes you've made as regards to the wet markets, that this won't happen again? Well, uh, Duncan, you see, there is a law and we are going to uh, uh, strengthen our law enforcement on that and we will um, make sure that the laws are efficiently uh, enacted. Mm. Um, so you've seen the meltdown economically from from this um, uh, pandemic, and we still don't know what's going to happen when we all emerge from this from this lockdown around the world and the chaos, the economic chaos and, and carnage. Do, do does does China apologise um, for um, not starting this, but for being the sort of the starting point of where the virus came from? Does, is, is China sorry about that? Uh, as as I as I have said, the. Uh the virus may exist in the nature, but it, it can happen uh, in China, it can happen in, uh, in, in other parts of, uh, of the world. So we still, we still don't know where the origin of the virus is. And Absolute liar. It started at the Wuhan Institute of Vi Vi Virology, and she knows it. We need to wait for the scientists to reach a conclusion. Okay. Any conclusion by politicians or by uh, diplomats are, are not fair and are not science-based. So we want to wait for the uh, scientists or the health experts to tell us where the origin is. But I thought you already knew. So it's not the wet markets then. Is that a no to an apology? I, I, I believe it could happen anywhere in the world. Okay. If, if somebody, if somebody needs to make an apology for an outbreak of, uh, of the virus, so, uh, Duncan, my question is, who should apologize for the, for the outbreak of H, HIV and H1N1 uh, influenza? Oh. oh, look over there. Look over there. We could, we could go back over every, every virus that the world has seen. We could be here all morning, and I'm sure you're, you're too busy for that. Ambassador, very quickly, out today is the US is exploring whether the pandemic originated in a lab near Wuhan, and it was accidentally released in a bungled bat experiment. Do you have anything to say on that? Well, there are different kinds of uh, versions uh, on, the, uh, on the internet, but as I, as I said, we need to wait for the scientists to reach a conclusion based on science, based on professionalism. Before that, any speculation is ungrounded. Yes, yeah, so are you going to allow in American scientists or are you just going to allow in uh, Chinese communist WHO scientists? Do you, and, and do, do, do you have I anything? Have seen, do you have anything that, that you'd like to say to, to the um, to the thousands of people who are, are likely to lose their jobs um, as a result of you know what's gone on here? And you know, we, we've all played a part in this. And, uh, you know. No, Duncan. Only China has played a part in this. Um, right around the world. Do you have um, anything to say to those people who may face really tough times here? Uh, yes, of course. And it, I, I believe it is a global pandemic, and we need solidarity. And we need to remain fully united to fight against the virus. We should not 
pointing fingers on each other because this is not helpful. And most recently, I have seen lots of rhetorics by the U.S. politicians of blaming others. They blame, blame, and blame. And you excuse, excuse, excuse. Anyway, now let's get closer to the truth. Here now with his, he's the host of Special Report with Brett Baer. All right, uh, Brett, now officials, what they're saying, they don't believe the outbreak was linked to any kind of man-made biological weapons program, according to your report, and they don't believe the contamination was intentional. Do we know this for certain, or is there a possibility it was manufactured? Is there a possibility the spread was intentional? Uh, you've confirmed in your reporting they protected their country, but they let the rest of the world get this virus. Yeah, Sean, good evening. There's a um really zero confidence in the people I've talked to and publicly that uh, this was a man-made virus. You heard Tony, Tony Fauci asked this question in a way about the lab uh, in the White House task force briefing tonight, and he said that there are a lot of studies that show that it was transmitted from uh, animal to human and that it was not genetically altered. That matches what our sources said and what we reported at the beginning, that they didn't think, based on the structure of the genome of the virus that um, that it, it was man-made. Now, there are the thing that is inconclusive is exactly about the lab, but more and more dots, both open source and classified, point right to the lab, and that's why we said increasing confidence. What there is 100% confidence of, and we've reported this, and now more and more officials are saying it publicly, is the level and extent of the cover-up China went to, and part of those dots fit into to why there's such a point at looking at this lab. Secretary Pompeo talking about it uh, publicly today with Hugh Hewitt on the radio. Now, 98%, uh, we do know this from SARS. Most people may not remember SARS also was a coronavirus. And according to the scientists and doctors I've interviewed, when they broke down the sequence in record time, which is why we're in stage one trials for a vaccine, there was a 98% similar sequence as SARS, again, another coronavirus, which would lend itself to the, the theory that they didn't do this intentionally, uh, meaning create the virus, that it was there. Uh, what is the exact evidence that, you, you know, that they're giving you? What are they saying specifically behind this report that proves this? On the man-made part, yeah, well, they believe that this doctor, Scherzing Li, who was working in the Wuhan uh, virology uh, lab, was essentially working on antiviral and immunization efforts. That's what, that's what our sources are saying. That's what matches some of the uh, reports that were out from the University of South China and others. Uh, that there were efforts to study these viruses in that very lab. And basically, that the non-man-made part is pointing specifically to the genetic mapping of this, um, of this virus right now, and that it hopped from an animal uh, to a uh, human, and it was not altered in its genetic sequence. That's what we're and getting. Just to, and just to be clear, in your reporting, you're saying that it was the Chinese viewed this as dangerous enough that they weren't allowing flights in or out of Wuhan to any other part of China, but they were allowing it to the rest of the world, which would say they knew it was that dangerous. Yes. Now, at this point, we can safely say we have enough evidence to strongly suggest that this was deliberate. Well, then you look at other elements there, dots on the, the board, and that is uh, how much they went to scrub all of the data. The fact that you can't find some of these doctors, including Shi Jing Li, uh, who was working on it. Uh, the fact that some of the samples were destroyed. The fact that just today, Sean, the Chinese government re-announced uh, an increase in the death total in Wuhan by 50 percent. What a joke. Uh, oh, uh, that's, uh, that's just today. Yes. Liars, liars, liars.
Yes, folks, this Wuhan virus is starting to look more deliberate by the day. We can no longer conclude it was just a wet market accident when the evidence points to a lab and when there have been cover-ups after cover-ups. But those plane, loads of, those plane loads of people from Wuhan spreading the virus around the world after the Communist Party protected China sealed the deal for me. This looks very deliberate indeed.